Let's start with a very simple experiment. Put a coin in an empty cup. Position yourself in such a way that the coin is not visible. Now slowly add water into the cup. Slowly you will start to see the coin. Observe that the coin is completely visible now. Why do you think this is happening? The coin isn't moving. Rather, it just looks like it has moved up because of a phenomenon known as refraction. Let's take a closer look. We see objects only if light hits them and the rays reflect or refract off them and reach our eyes. In our experiment, the rays of light hit the coin and bounce to our eyes after refraction. When light rays travel from a dense medium to a rare medium, that is from water to air, they are refracted away from the normal at the surface of water. Then, when these refracted light rays enter our eyes, they create the illusion that the coin lying at the bottom of the cup is closer to us than it really is. In reality, we can't observe the zigzag path that the rays of light are taking. Our eyes always perceive rays of light as a straight line. We can draw a line to represent the path of a refracted ray. We can also draw a line to show the path from our eyes back to the refracted object. The point where these rays meet is where the coin appears to be. In reality, the coin is at the bottom of the beaker. But because the light bends when it hits the water, the image of the coin is formed above the actual position of the coin. This is why we are able to see the coin upon pouring water in the cup. The distance from the actual position of the coin in a transparent medium, like water to the surface of water, is called real depth. Can you guess what apparent depth is? The distance from the image of an object in a transparent medium, like water to the surface of water, is called apparent depth. This is why a swimming pool appears less deep than it actually is. Now, Let's have a look at critical angle. When an incident ray moves from a dense medium like glass to a rare medium like air at an angle other than zero, the refracted ray bends away from the normal. Remember that normal refers to an imaginary line which is perpendicular to the surface of a medium. In this case, the angle of refraction is greater than the angle of incidence. What happens when the angle of incidence increases? When the angle of incidence increases, so does the angle of refraction. If the angle of incidence is gradually increased, a point comes when the refracted light travels along the boundary of a dense medium and the angle of refraction becomes 90 degrees. When the angle of refraction is equal to 90 degrees, the angle of incidence is called the critical angle. This is denoted by the letter C. The critical angle of glass is 42 degrees and that of water is 49 degrees. Time for an exercise. Take a few minutes and discuss with your friends. Two incident rays, upon entering the air from water, bend away from normal. The refracted rays reach the viewer's eyes. When these refracted rays are traced back, they meet at eye. Thus, a virtual image of the fish is formed at eye. The depth from the position of fish to the surface of water is real depth. While the distance from the image of the fish to the surface of water is apparent depth. Pause for a few seconds to pick the correct option. A critical angle is defined as the angle of incidence when the angle of refraction is 90 degrees from normal.
the angle of refraction in the image on the left side is 90 degrees from normal and the refracted ray moves along the boundary of the glass. In the image on the right side, the angle of refraction is clearly less than 90 degrees, which the refracted air going into the air. Therefore, the critical angle is found in the image on the left. To summarize, in this video we learnt about real and apparent depth and the critical angle. The distance from the actual position of an object in a transparent medium like water to the surface of water is called real depth. The distance from the image of an object in a transparent medium like water to the surface of water is called apparent depth. An angle of incidence for which the angle of refraction is 90 degrees is called the critical angle.